Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Leo and thank you for joining me once again today. Today's video is going to be macro photography and what I've done is I've been out lately and I've been to Poundland and looking around and they haven't really got much in there that I like or takes my fancy for photographing. So I've been around the local junk shops to see what I can find and I found some very interesting stuff. For the first one, I found this clock. And like I said, all I'm interested in was inside, so I've taken it apart and I've got full loads of little gubbins and different little bits of stuff that we can take pictures of. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, this bit because it's, we could get very close, tight, and I'll show you. Also, meet my brother. Don't you think he looks like me? So we've got a few action figures as well which I picked up on along the way, which maybe we'll do something of them in, a, in another video, I don't know, but we're going to have definitely play with some of them, because it even speaks. I ain't no <laughs> So we're going to put them away a bit. So what I'm actually going to be doing today is actually using my little rotary turntable to light the parts up in the picture, because I want, a, I, want, I want a different colour to these because I'm all but like a brass colour. So what I want is I want to get the light around it and try and make something different. I mean, yeah, and I want, I want some reflections as well, which I've got. This piece of black screen perspex here. Now this is actually off a computer screen but it makes, it gives fantastic reflections out when you, put your, when you put your stuff on there, straight away you can see it. And with the lights shining over the top as well, it's gonna give me lots of nice different colors and textures. Now we ain't gonna be doing now, you know, uh, we ain't gonna be using no flash today, but all we're gonna be doing is doing long exposure because we can really concentrate on it. We can let the camera do the work and not everybody's got flashes. So this is an ideal way. Also, you can use, my wife's just had a, a little silver dress ring for Christmas, and I'm gonna try and do a bit of product photography with this in a minute as well, see if I can get anything nice and detailed out of that. And it's always gonna be, like I say, it's just we're gonna set it up, we're gonna get the light, we're gonna pull it over the top, move it round, get the settings right, and we're gonna take some pictures and see how it goes along. I think it'll make for a nice video, especially with this old clock. I mean, the patterns on it's absolutely fantastic. I now have taken a few shots before I've taken it out of the case, of course. But the inside, like I said, is, is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the little cogs everywhere. It just, it, it, it's nice. But all this hand paint, all this around there is actually hand sewed in, which really, really, really looks nice as well. So I think we might be able to do something with that. I don't know, we ain't really looked at this bit yet. All I've had a look at is all the little windings and workings inside so let me get the camera set up and get it on the tripod and i'll talk you all through the settings so as you can see there ain't a lot really to my setup today i just got my 7d on my vanguard tripod and it that is it my settings i'm going to be 0.6 of a second f10 and iso 125 do we need any more than that now i've also got it on two second timer means I can press it, let the camera settle, and it's gonna fire off. This, like I say, is an old computer screen, but if you haven't got a computer screen, you know, a piece of black perspex, shiny black perspex will work just as good. And if you ain't got one of them, if you can get a piece of black card and just put a piece of glass out of a mirror, uh, out of a picture frame, should I say, on the top, and that will give you the same effect. It will just, like I say, I want the black background, I want the light to work all over it. So, and get some, sh and you know, cast a shadow. So I think this will work well. Like I says, nothing really hard to this. And that's the best and simplest thing. This is why I absolutely love this little rotary light I bought. It, you, know, you know, I've had it years, but I still find it brilliant, should I say. Setting up, all I'm gonna do is, you know, it, it ain't nothing hard. All I'm, is I'm just gonna put it on, I'm gonna try a single one, say, first. I'm just gonna place it on. Have a look and see how I like it through the viewfinder. I might have to bring that back a bit. 
focusing nicely on it. Well, now what I'm doing is I'm focusing on the middle of the, 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 the clock uh, piece. This is because I know the F10 should run straight away through. I can't really photo stack it and I don't like photo stacking it. So I'm using the, the F, F10 to try and draw everything through. Now that's set up like that now. Now if I was to take a picture of it, you know, I've got a picture. It, I'll just take a picture and have a look and it's sharp so I'm quite happy with that. It's dark, but it's going to be dark because we ain't got no light to it. This is where now this magic thing comes in. So all I'm going to do now is just run it over the top and I'm just going to put it in and pull it away. Then I'm going to judge what colour I want. Then once I see what colour I sort of want, I'm going to press it, hold it and take my shot. And straight away, that's nice. It gives, you can see the colours on it straight away, but you don't have to stop there. Like I said, just keep moving around because this changes so many colours. We can keep taking the pictures and getting whatever your colours you want. And it really gives you a vintage look. And I'm, this is what I like. Like I say, that's really nice. But what I want is I want a bit more to the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build a scene. So all I'm going to get is we got this big, big cog. Well, all big cogs need little cogs. Without little cogs, they don't work. So I remember that. So all us amateur photographers, or professional photographers, we'll say, but amateurs, you know, we all have to start somewhere to get a professional photographer. So one day we might get there. We never know. We can have a go, you know. But while we're doing it, we can still enjoy ourselves. So like I said, I've just placed the three on. And all I'm going to do is make sure them as level as they can together. This way then it gives, it helps my aperture. And it'll make sure that, you know, it, it, it helps to, the focusing better. So I know that when I've got, when it's focused, I know that I've got more chance of the f-stop running through and getting that picture and holding a picture. Now I might have to move this up because I want the shadows at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift it up. This Vanguard tripod's absolutely a godsend, to be honest. I love it. And I'm, I have got to do a review on it because I've had it now a little bit, 12 months now. And I must say, it, it's, it is fantastic. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt it down now. I'm going to, ooh, I'm going to tilt it down and, and focus on it. Now I'm going to just take, I ain't going to get, a, I ain't going to try and get a shadow on this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and focus into it and just get just the cogs because I think it might, it might be a nice picture. So I'm just going to quickly take a few snaps of that. Once again, like I say, I haven't even changed now settings. I'm just going to quickly just flash it over a few times. Let me know what you think of that one. And as you can see, the colours just keep changing. And believe me, you don't need no editing with this. Every single picture you take is going to be different. That's why I says I can't photo stack. I quite like that one. That last picture is really nice. I love the colour. Right, so now I'm going to come back just a little bit more. We're going to back the camera off a little bit more. And I'm going to rise it up just again. Now this is so my camera is facing down at the handle. So when I'm in, when I'm looking down the, when I'm looking down, I'm going to get the big cog at the top, and I want the reflection at the bottom, so it looks like a mirror image. Won't work. Oh, that looks really long. Let's move back just a touch more. That's it. Move that up. That's it, we're focused in. Now all I'll do again, yet again, like I've just said, is we just place it over. Oh, really nice. And the way you move with the light means you're gonna get different pictures and the shadow also changes. If I wanted to do a bit of product photography, like I said, I've got this tiny little ring. All I'd do is do the same. Just put it on. Focus my camera right into it. I'm going to drop that down a bit because I don't like the, the height. 
Ugh, come on, like, tired a bit too much. Get all lined up. Focus in right on the little bit of stones there. Like that. And then do the same again. It is that that's it's that simple. But this light, oh look at that. That light absolutely makes the difference. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna mess around now, put the cogs on there and put maybe put this some of this on here and build a picture and see how I get on. Then what I'll do is I'll drop some pictures up and see if you like them. I hope you've all enjoyed those pictures and on a serious note now, thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting to the end of this video, if you got to the end of this video. Three months ago, I was really near enough ready to say, forget YouTube. But with help from you and your kind comments, I've carried on. I've got two or three videos, don't worry, lined up, ready to go. So I'm in front of myself now and I'm back motivated. I've even got an out and about adventure coming up very, very, very soon. But like I say, without you, your appreciation and all your nice comments, I really wouldn't have been here now because a lot of YouTubes at the minute are just folding because with, with YouTube doing what they're doing and the way they're paying us now, they ain't really paying us nothing. It's, it's, it's pennies, trust me. And trying to keep a YouTube channel going as well as travelling out and about and you know, recording stuff, to buy it, you're recording stuff, it's it's getting harder and harder and harder. I really, trust me, you, you, I can't tell you, I ain't sponsored. I don't work, I, I work, but my job isn't that well paid where I can say, here we go, there's 30 pound for petrol, because I'm going to here today. There's 60 pound a month, like I'm paying now for my Adobe subscription, just because to edit my videos. Yeah, I can probably do it cheaper, but I find Adobe the best way to do it. So, Thank you very much for getting on to me and giving me a kick up the arse to get me back out there. I help you all keeping safe and keep, remember, keep sending me your pictures. I really love to see them and it gives me that boost. When I see your pictures, it means a really a lot to me. So I'll keep sending them. I hope you've enjoyed it and I want to see you go out and about and I want to see you doing more creative photography because that's what I'm all about. And we are like I say, it's on a budget, it's cheap. I'll leave a link in the description below for that little light if you haven't got one. A lot of you have already got one. The clock, like I says, it's a second hand shop or a junk shop. I was donated that one for free, so it's like a free video really for me, sort of thing. That's when that's why I'm going around to these shops because I can find I can do more. But I still want to go out and about and do my adventures, but I've got a lot planned, so don't you worry. So look after yourself, and until next time, stay safe and happy snapping!